hello it's Sarah I'm back guys I just wanted to share I haven't been on in a while and again I want to get back in here but this is my latest project that I did and I'm putting it away because it's after Christmas now but I got this I'm gonna shoot from above in a second that two-tiered kind of centerpiece tray right the two-tiered tray from Amazon and I feel like it's probably the same size I'm just kind of holding the camera as the one Renee uses now these pieces are uh, I bought them in a bundle all of these little characters from Renee Mullins Plum Purdy designs um, if you watch my channel you know I love her her designs they're just so sweet I have one more to go the little jingle bell but I just wanted to share before I start putting all, I, we basically did put all our Christmas stuff away, but this was just um, hanging around. Um, so let me put the camera above and I'll show you in detail. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is the bundle I'm talking about and I've painted the fall one and the summer one. And I'm hoping she comes out with a winter, which basically will be, until spring which I don't have the spring one I think the bees are the summer one because I do know she just started this line this this two-tier tray line where you can get a bundle of little packets and make and then she also sells the wood so I also had there's one in here the goose it might have even been a, a freebie that she threw in I'm not positive um, I don't have my receipt handy anywho so you get the little elf delivery and that's what this one is and see how you get the wood and it's dimensional you get like this one kind of pops up in this one I got the star of the hand this little edge of the sleigh and the um the little sled anyway it's a candy cane and then you paint them up and you glue them all together and then she has you kind of putting glitter in different areas I used what I had she uses a different kind of glitter that I don't have um, and they come with a stand and then I've been using my uh, gold leafing pen on the edges so that's the little elf delivery now you can also buy these all separately um, but I just love the bundle and the t and the tray idea so I did that one here's the Santa and you guys I've painted so many Santas I actually have a little gnome a winter gnome that I didn't paint yet I gotta find him here he is I have the wood right here so this is gonna be a gnome um, I think I prepped it but here's the Santa he's called Twinkle Star Santa so he's got a little star wand and his mustache is three-dimensional and his little cuffs <clears throat> and the fur down here and the belt buckle I put glossy accents on the little what are they called the berries I don't know they just make me so happy um, they're fun and you can do them pretty quickly I mean I'm a very fast painter so I mean for a beginner maybe just an afternoon though I mean they're not hard and she I like that she uses kind of the same colors for each one so you get the paint out and you have all the same colors out ouch for um, each project is kind of using the same color so this one's called Santa ginger mug so see how the mug is is kind of like a Santa so cute a little gingy and I put glossy accents on the icing um, and then I glittered the peppermint stick it's like a hot cocoa mug and the only three-dimensional thing on this one was the belt buckle so not too much and then it's just a block that you can stand it with and then the other one I painted well oh, I did the goose which you can't really see in real life because it's all packed away with my ornaments but it was so cute and fun um, just the holly bear leaf and berries was three-dimensional on that and then it had a hang two holes for hanging so I did that the ho 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 it's called ho 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 Rudolph and it's just a little plaque and this one had a round plaque with a ho 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 and the Rudolph and then the nose was actually another piece 
very simple project but and I didn't have the same stencils that's another thing she Renee sells her own stencils which I love I'm just gonna get this I just see that like there's a glitter clump right here I'm just softening it um, so this one was like a polka dot look I'll show you the difference the polka dots are a little more spaced apart on hers and on mine I I didn't have one so I just used what I had and it's a little more a uh, lot more tight is what I'm trying to say and I hand painted the um, snowflakes she has a snowflake stencil that she used but I just hand painted them and I think it looks basically the same so I mean use what you have and make your own decision I think there's gonna come a point where I will end up ordering her stencils because they're just very common shapes I'm trying to think of what else like on this one let me just compare see again she used the same stencil the snowflake stencil on here and I just hand painted it in like a watered down kind of color and it looks perfectly fine um, I'm trying to think if there was any other stencil I don't think so it was just this one um, but I, I remember them from other uh, of the bundles I've gotten before um, so I'll, I might pull over a few more and then the last one is the Jingle Bell um, it's literally a bell I have it here ready to go I found these I want to say at the Dollar Tree no these were at Joann's it's a two pack of iridescent wings and they're kind of like in fabric but I thought these would look so cute on a little art doll. Like, I kept these out of my, um, I didn't put them away because they're both uh, Christmas angels. But I think I just want to make some angels again. I have a couple more of these kind of shapes, the triangle. But see the wings I used on these, they, were, they broke, not on her. But on another one, these are just wooden wings. I think I probably got them at, East, uh, at Hobby Lobby. It's two round discs that I glued together to make the head. I think I probably cut these triangles out of like just wood that you can find at the hobby stores. But I made their little arms out of beads, their legs out of beads. And anyway, I think I have a video on this, but look at these wings. Wouldn't that be perfect? It's the perfect size. So I knew that I wanted to make a couple more angels. I could do them even up or down. Oh, MJ, I love it. So I think I might be making angels because this combines so many of my loves of crafting. I have paper. So this is just uh, Christmas paper that I Mod Podge to the wood to give for her dress. Um, and I use buttons and beading and um, a little bit of painting. And this is felt for her hair. Um, they're so fun. And then this one's really cute. I use different color felt. So this one has gray hair. This one has bangs. See, I give them different hairstyles. And I gave her earrings, so she has like little pearl earrings. They're just so fun to embellish. And then this one I used these metal wings, which is kind of, I think they're in the bead finding section of uh, Hobby Lobby. But they were a little small, but I thought it still looked cute. But man, wouldn't these look adorable? I mean, I could even double lap it. So cute. So anyway, I think they're on the horizon for me because they're sitting out but yeah here's the uh, the final one and it's funny because I think this wood I could actually make two of these ornaments because the way she did it because she does the overlapping I got two I consider both of these possible bases so one has the cutout but I mean I could just leave that plain and just put the jingle bell you know I could paint it I don't have to have the overlap and then this I think is supposed to go behind so it's like that I think I'm just gonna make two and then you have the word and the little bell like the bump on the bell and then jingle goes up here 
but it comes with a pattern so I could actually just trace the pattern on there so you see what I'm saying I could actually get two for make a two for let's see if the pa oh, no, patterns right here so I could just trace jingle and paint it with you know red paint and just kind of you know make a whole nother ornament um, so anywho, you guys know that I just love, love, love Plum Purdy. And then it comes with this block so that you can stand it up. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I had so much fun doing those over the holidays, kind of. We're all ready into 2023. I'm feeling really good, you guys. Um, oh, been going to lots of meetings. I do 12-step recovery. Um, I started going to adult children meetings now and doing all the work. I'm sponsoring people and I have a sponsor and I really recommend anyone out there who has an issue with uh, dysfunctional families or alcohol or drugs in your family, um, there is help. Um, and I am just missing you guys. I also wanted to share one other thing. They're called the Crafty Guys. Com the Crafty Guy Company on Facebook. Dude, these guys, the one, I don't know their names because I just scroll through on Facebook really fast. They make very like five minute videos, if that, of all stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree. Like all of the little wood shapes that you get at Dollar Tree, he'll like make stuff from them. That is so cute and so crafty. I just wanted to do a shout out for him, um, for them, the crafty guys. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Um, Happy New Year, and I'll be back. Love you. Thanks for watching.